Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky Bidding and I am here to do my final layout for Mini Kit Monday, September 2019. This month we were supposed to do four layouts because there was five Mondays. So we had a kit share plus four layouts. I did go ahead and squeeze in an extra layout. I kind of wanted to squeeze in more than one. But after I started doing this one, which is my fifth one, I noticed that I could not do it. I mean, I have plenty of things still left in my stash or still left in my kit to do, but I was just bored. And that was the entire premise of Mini Kit Monday is that I just get bored so easily, right? So right here, I did start with a white daisy cardstock background, and then I put this piece of the polka dot paper on there. So it's going to kind of be a one third, two thirds type of uh, layout going on right here. This beautiful piece, I did fussy cut out of one of the papers, and I do pop it up on some foam tape. I had already put the foam tape on the back because that was super time consuming. I am going to cut out me peeling off all the pieces as well. This is going to serve as my title. Now the photo I'm scrapping picking is one of Tiffany my niece's friends daughters so um, I, I, I like this layout kind of it's not gonna be my favorite layout I hope Tiffany enjoys it it's not gonna be something I keep it's gonna be something that I will end up sending to her I'm actually not following a sketch for a change because I just wanted to kind of use remnants that I had left I did have three full pieces of paper left at the end of this kit still but on this one I was trying to use up some of the more type scrap type papers so I did take this pink piece that had the pink hearts on it cut it into a banner and I am taking this uh, border sticker and putting it on the bottom of the yellow piece I used that yellow piece of pattern paper just to kind of uh, as a break between the polka dots and the white well when I saw that border piece on the sticker sheet I was like well I guess I could use this too as well right so here I'm going through little bits and pieces that are left in my kit and I'm gonna tell you guys looking at this right here those yellow flowers don't look so bad in fact they look probably look better than what I ended up putting on here but I did not like anything I had left I was tired of looking at it I didn't want to mess with it like I was gonna add some you know some of these black pieces in I didn't feel like they were really working out for me this little piece right here it's an arrow and it had smile um, cut out of the center of it so I went ahead and, cut, and punched out all the smile bit and put that under there so it'd like say beautiful smile yeah that's gonna go away I am actually gonna end up diving into my stash to finish this layout off I know right there's so much stuff in this kit and I end up going into my stash to finish it off I was just bored with it I was tired of looking at it I do take this stripe paper right here and cut that into a banner as well I'm gonna go ahead and commit to the placement of the banner of the pink and the banner with the stripe the stripe paper wasn't quite long enough so I do just cut it in half and you know tuck it under each side of the photo right there so because I wasn't in love with these yellow flowers, which like I said, looking back at this layout right here, those yellow flowers looked way better. Because I wasn't really feeling them at the time of doing this layout, I did find some white flowers that were sitting on my desk. I think they were sitting on my desk anyway. And I ended up pulling those out. Now, as you can imagine, we have this white cardstock up top and we have the paper down at the bottom that is basically a white base with dots on it those white flowers are going to blend in but I don't care that's what I end up using on here looking back at this I'm just like I don't I don't know what I was thinking at this particular time right here I pulled out several chipboard pieces that were from Maggie Holmes I am going to use the frame pieces I did cut them in half put one at the top left and one at the bottom right of the photo this little piece right here I was trying to make work but it is not going to end up working in the end here I'm going to go ahead and commit to the those frame pieces I am just using that art glitter glue to put them down I think right about here is where I'm going to get frustrated with those yellow ones. I do go through more Maggie Holmes and I pull out these little puffy stickers that are the little animal faces. When I purchased these, I think I got two packs because I thought they'd be so easy to use and so fun. And you know, I love the baby animals. No, they did not make it on this page at all. But look at that panda right there by the bee. That would have worked perfectly. I liked that there, but 
I don't know what was going on with me this day. You know, it's one of those things. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This time I kind of lost a little bit. I mean, it ends up okay. I'm not going to throw it away. I'll send it to Tiffany, and if she doesn't like it, she could, she's more than welcome to throw it away. Just don't tell me about it, Tiffany, okay? Um, she's more than welcome to do that, but um, yeah, I don't know. Here's where I went ahead and pulled out all these other flowers. Now, you see how I was trying to cluster those up? The, that yellow in those yellow flowers is so weird, and it is so far beyond what is on this page. I am going to toss those aside and just go with the black, like I said. In the center of the black flowers, I will end up putting some sparkly stickles. So that doesn't really make much of a difference, but that's what I did to kind of dress it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and commit to those. You can see those two down there. At the Well, you probably maybe can't see those two down there at the bottom I put there too. They're blending into the bay I know, right? Looking back at this, I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what I was doing. But yeah, I did put two flowers down there at the bottom right as well. I'm going to finish it off with some black enamel dots and I just kind of scatter those around the page. You did see I snuck in that memories bit under beautiful so it says beautiful memories that was a sticker and I am going to pop it up on some foam tape it's going to move a little over to the left hand side after I do that I will go back into my stash and I had gotten these cute little bows from close to my heart and I am going to actually use one of the pink ones they are super cute and I think they're still there I think they're in the clearance section it has like this pretty light pink a coral and a navy blue if you want to pick those up i think they're on clearance i personally have bought two packs of those i think i've used i think each pack comes with nine i've used like four of them so far they are really cute though you can see where i tucked it in oh nope you can't see it just yet you'll see it in the um close-up pictures i it just needed more i mean God, this one was such a struggle for me, right? It just happens. Right there's the bow. It just happens. Some of them are just a scrub struggle. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Sorry this wasn't the best. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.